We've been so fortunate today to be at Silvercrest and have them allow us to tour these four brand new homes. Three of them single wides, two park models, and two homes built to the HUD building code. We even toured this three bedrooms, two bathroom double wide right here in front of us. So if you miss that tour, make sure that you go to our channel and check out that video. This is a beautiful manufactured home that's great for your private property or the home in your backyard. All right, now we're gonna go over here on the left. This home is perfect as an accessory dwelling unit. It's very popular. This home is two bedrooms and two full bathrooms. Again, this is perfect for your backyard. I love how the roof is angled. It really opens everything up and allows us to fit all these windows, transom windows, allowing a lot of natural light to come inside your home, saving your energy so you don't need to have your lights on all the time. This particular home we made with board and bat, you could choose lap siding. You can match the exterior of this home to your main house. So we're not limited on the materials we can use. If you need stucco siding, we can make these homes stucco ready we would just put the stucco siding on site. Tell us what you think of this beautiful accessory dwelling unit, perfect for your backyard here in California. Now let's go take a look on the inside. I'm really excited to show you. Our customers love this model. Check this out, rate this home from a scale of one to 10 one being your least favorite and 10 being your favorite. But we're gonna come over here and look at this kitchen. This is one beautiful kitchen. The dark cabinets look really sharp. Do you prefer white cabinets? These, these aren't quite cherry cabinets, they're like a burgundy, or do you prefer the black? This kitchen has everything in it, starting with these solid surface Corian countertops, white tile backsplash, and it even has hardwood soft closing hinges. Now we're gonna go back down here. Let's, let's back up a little and take a look at this farmhouse sink. In the other models, we had a single cell sink, which is different than a farmhouse sink. So this has a little bit of the farmhouse feel. I love the farmhouse feel with uh, your brush nickel gooseneck faucet with sprayer. But I always recommend having a farmhouse sink or a single cell sink. What would you choose? They've even added Stainless steel kitchen appliances. You have enough room for your microwave, your stove top, your oven down there. And then a side-by-side -side refrigerator with water and ice dispenser. Now over here to the left, we're gonna show you this large kitchen island. If you want to omit this kitchen island, you can certainly do so. But what's nice about a kitchen island is it's a multi-purpose thing. You can use it to cut your food, You it adds more storage, and it even with this breakfast bar, adds more seating. Because again, this is an accessory dwelling unit, so you're a little bit limited on the space you have, and you might want to omit it just to make this area a little bit larger and to have a bigger living area with your flat screen TV and your sofas. And we're, I almost forgot, but here, look at all these transom windows. All these windows add so much natural light. Again, this ceiling slopes from our left right behind us, and it goes up to the right, which, makes it feel much larger in here and allows for those transom windows. Again, all the natural light here in California with all the sunshine that we get. If you want more wall space, you can certainly eliminate one of those windows. 
and to have the wall space might be a good place to put your TV or your sofa. So you do have some options when you're ordering a brand new manufactured home. Back here over to the left is where a stackable washer and dryer would fit. We were able to squeeze this in here just right so you can have a stackable. I know some people don't like stackables, but when, you're, you, you, when you have limited square footage, a stackable is the better option. And this is the second bathroom in this home. So we have a tub shower combo, which you could switch out with a walk-in shower. If this home's with your, for your parents, you might want to do a walk-in shower, but you'll see the second bathroom does have a walk-in shower. These bedrooms are a little bit cozy, but you could fit a queen size bed. Definitely a full bed would give you a little bit more space, but it is a very wide bedroom. So I think you can get away with putting a king size bed in here if you'd want. Otherwise, a queen size bed is gonna allow you to have a lot more space. Now we're gonna go over here to bedroom one and bathroom one. This is your master bathroom. It's about, it's a little bit larger than the other bathroom, but you can see we have this very nice mirror, overhead cabinets, a walk-in shower, and we even added a window above the shower, allowing better airflow and more natural light. And you see over here, we have a sprayer for the shower that's detachable and you can move it around, wash yourself a little bit more easily. So you do have options with your shower heads even. A lot of people think that in manufactured homes you're limited on your choices, but there are many choices. And here is the second cozy bedroom. Again, we've added these ship windows right there. You could put your bed right underneath those windows. That's what's nice about having those windows. Otherwise you can omit them and put a full size window in there if you would like. All right, well, that's it. This is the last and final home tour of the day. We appreciate all the love you can give by hitting that like button. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring that bell. See you next time.